Yay, so I finally found an Epson EcoTank printer. This is the ET2760 that I'm going to be converting into a sublimation printer. So this is the ink bottles that the original printer came with. It came with uh, two of the black, the yellow, the cyan, and the pink, they're the magenta. And um, I saw most people were not even using these bottles for anything. So I decided that I was gonna empty out the ink out of these bottles so that I could reuse those same bottles with the sublimation ink. Other videos that I saw showed um, how people were filling up their cartridges with syringes but I decided that I was just going to empty out the ink that came in these bottles so that I could replace it with the same color but the sublimation ink instead so that it'd be easier to deposit into the cartridge. Okay so here we are. I went ahead and washed all of the containers. I washed um, every single bottle the caps that it came with and the nozzles as well. One thing that I need to make sure that you know and realize is that each one of these nozzles has a particular design um, which is gonna match to the color of the ink cartridge on your printer. So you wanna make sure that you always remember which nozzle belongs to which bottle. So I struggle with trying to cleaning um, these nozzles at the beginning. Um, I had to figure out how to clean them enough to where the ink was not showing. I even used the straw cleaner. But let me show you what I found. I was able to, uh, well I realized that there's a little socket inside that I stuck a little silicone stopper uh, to prevent from the liquids coming out. So I realized that um, the ink was still left around the rim and I figured out that that little socket could come out. So I don't know if you can really tell um, and I don't really know what the name of it is, but as much as I tried cleaning with the straw cleaner, the ink on the rim was still staying there. So I figured out to pop it out and you will be able to see here, there's um, the little silicone um, stopper that I'm telling you. Um, so I was able to get that out and I actually, you can actually pop out the little silicone um, as well. And that way you can get it all clean and then you know looking all good inside so i went ahead and did that i popped it out i washed it really well and then all you have to do is put it back in place by putting the silicone back into the little um clip and then putting it back into the the nozzle Okay, so these are the sublimation ink that I bought from Amazon. I actually got these um, from someone else who I saw a video um, who referenced um, Amazon. So I went ahead and I ordered them from Amazon. They got here within like two days. Um, I know that there's other brands out there with better ink and better quality, but um, to start with, this was actually really good. It was inexpensive and they worked out really great for me uh, up until now. So. This is the process that I went through to transfer them over onto the bottles. And pretty much now all we're gonna do is just transfer those colors to the corresponding bottle. Uh, remember that each nozzle comes with a specific design. So whatever the nozzle came with that bottle, just make sure you keep it because that's how you're gonna transfer it to that specific color on your printer. Okay, and here we are now. We are just filling up the cartridges with the specific colors. You don't even have to hold it. You just turn it over and it'll just fill on its own until you see it get to the top and then you can remove it and move on with the next color. Okay, now pretty much all you have to do is just follow the instructions step by step. It'll tell you exactly what to do and what to do next. Um, there's no getting lost here. So... Um, just follow the instructions and then it's going to ask you to print out the samples and um, you should be good to go from here on. Okay, so for me, I actually use the uh, Cricut um, system. So I went ahead and uploaded a picture for me. I'm going to be doing my first project. I'm actually going to be doing a phone case. Um, so I went ahead and set up the picture um, sent it to print and I'm just going through the setup just making sure that the colors are vivid and um, 
setting it to the printer now and it actually prints at a really good speed um, i did use sublimation paper um, that i also got from amazon and i also put i'll put the link um, down below but um, it prints at a really good speed and so uh, a tip that i saw um, from another video is that you can just put your printout under your press just for a few seconds um, so that the heat can help it dry quicker And the reason that I put it under the heat press was just only so that I can put it under the Cricut as well. The Cricut is just going to cut along the edges uh, to make it the correct size that I need for my blank. Again, I am making a phone case. So I just used the um, butcher paper to put on top of my blank and the picture. And this was the final result, which I'm really happy with. Okay, well, uh, this is it. I hope that this helps you in either deciding to go with this uh, printer, the EcoTank 2760. Um, and if not, the process actually is going to be very similar for any Epson printer. I personally didn't want to spend over $500 for a sublimation printer. I'm sure it's worth it, uh, but for me, I'm just getting started. This was my first time um, doing anything with sublimation, so I didn't want to um, spend so much money on something that I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to understand and you know make it work. So again, I found this printer um, at Sam's Club. I searched and searched and searched in different many different stores, um, many different places with many different. Uh, printers and this was the best that I found for the price and according to the reviews you know this was a really good printer to start with so again Sam's Club this was $230 all the accessories the ink the paper and everything else I got from Amazon I'm gonna try and put all the links to everything that I got down below I hope this helps you in um, making a decision whether you want to go with the ET2760 or any other Epson printer for that matter. I think the process is going to be pretty much the same. So thanks for watching and good luck with your conversion.